This is the universe, my friends. It was created a very long time ago. Now this is the earth. The earth was spawned into fucking production 4.3 billion years ago. And in that time between then and about 6 million years, shit happened. It's a TLDR of the earth, my friends. Um, so 6 million years ago, humans showed the fuck up. Now, human beings are categorized into two groups, many more, but we're going to simplify it a little bit, my friends. Men and women. Men and women, my friends. Men and women. Those are the two groups we have. From the time we've been around, we've grown as human beings and as intelligent creatures. We've created tools like the spoon and the flashlight, both wonderful devices that we use very, very, very well today. Some shit. I don't know. Um, so we decided to start communicating and talking to each other, us men and women. It took a while for us to understand each other. The ideas we have don't seem to communicate well, but, but we have the technology. As a great philosopher once said, We're not cavemen. We have technology. So we made an effort to start communicating with each other, men and women. And exactly one fucking minute after we discovered how to properly communicate and transfer ideas via vocal cords and vibrations, right? So one fucking minute after we were able to communicate with females, the man cave was formed. Only as an idea, though. The man cave is very subjective. It's, it, it's along the same lines as a black hole. Not even the mind of Stephen Hawking. Maybe not the mind, the TI-84 calculator that was hooked up to his brain. Could think of the perfect man cave for every man. That's why it's unique to the individual. What I'm trying to say to you people is that Stephen Hawking himself couldn't even solve the riddle us men have been uh, pondering for decades. For decades, we have tried to imagine the perfect man cave for each individual man. I thought this would be an appropriate time to discuss man caves because I saw this post on Twitter. At the same time, I am redoing my office my man cave my fucking dojo bro and as you could tell it's going fucking swimmingly uh as you can see by this glory hole i'm trying to install here this is where i go to be at peace and that's why men have this lair it's why supervillains have their their underground bunkers in the middle of the ocean dude filled with sharks made of lava dude there's many different flavors and many different styles, right? But the concept is the same. It's, it's a place for men to go and be at peace, whether you like cars, guns, video games, fuck, even porn and Shrek, dude, dude, I swear, dude, even if your sanctimony was made of just Shrek porn, I'd respect you. As long as you had your man cave to call your home. Now I see this post by interior porn. Now this is a real man cave. Now gentlemen, we have a lot to discuss because this is the most disrespectful shit I have ever fucking seen. Gentlemen, I welcome you to come with me to explore the mind of this man cave because that's how you really tell who a man is at heart by his man cave. I'm under the assumption that this was not created by a man. No, 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 no. But by a woman with a Pinterest account and an illusion of what a real man wants. Now, as you see, as we enter this man cave, you are promptly warned what the fuck this room is. Now, I'm sure many of you are going to agree with me that we don't need to know what the fuck the room is as we enter it. I'm going to assume that the room with the stove is the kitchen. I don't need to be told in some fancy ass fucking frilly font 
where the fuck these rooms are. I'm sorry I'm venting a little bit. My wife has a problem. As we, as we walk down the stairs here, we are promptly greeted by the lamest. One second here. Is that a folding poker table? Bro, seriously? Dude, step your game up. Get a real table. Like, I don't even give a shit, bro. Go to Home Depot. Pick up some fucking wood. Like I got there. Dude, you want to see my wood? Uh, and then just fucking just slap that shit. Put a nice velvet thing on it. Install some cup holders in an ashtray. And you got yourself a good fucking poker table, my dude. Not this folding picnic table bullshit, bro. That shit looks like it comes with a side of fucking bland ass coleslaw and some dry ass barbecue wings, bro. As we see now from the second image, we see, yes, I respect the TV, but let's also address the fact that what the fuck is that? Is that a Vogue magazine on the Ottoman? My dudes, enhance, CIA enhanced that shit, bro. Yes, that is in fact a Vogue magazine. In the man cave. Now, I don't know about you men out there, but I've never seen a man buy a Vogue magazine in my life. Now, I don't know about you fuckers, but I didn't need to know where the fuck the bar is, dudes. I'm gonna assume that if it's a man cave, it's all a fucking bar, dudes. And let's not, let's mention that this is some white girl basic ass bitch fucking display of vodka, bro. There's no bourbon. There's no any of that shit, dude. I've seen white college freshman chicks get sent to the hospital for alcohol poisoning on harder stuff than what you got there in your bar, bro. What what is what is with this furniture choice? Why is everything so gray? You know how I know a female did all this? Because it's all just so bland and neutral. That way they could throw in a little bit of color or whatnot if they needed to. Who the who picks these polka dot little pillow things? It just why? No dude I know picks this stuff up. No guy. No guy I know picks up a pillow that matches the thing. We don't do that. Our brains aren't wired like that, my dudes. What is with this canvas stuff, bro? These family, family where life begins and love never ends. Bro, kill me. That That's how I know 100% a female with a vagine did this, bro. Because no guy would buy this. Every guy looks at those things and wishes death, wishes literal war crimes upon whoever designed that. That, and what, what, what does that say? Viva la casa, bro. Get it out of there. Get it out. Get it out. So another addition I know this dude probably hand had a hand in making is that tiny ass little putt putt fucking strip right over there, dude. Like the landing strip on the early 90s porn stars. Yeah, dude. That little landing strip right there. Dude, I get, he's only allowed to go in that room if it's approved, bro. He's only got an hour or two a day at most that's if he completes his honey do list bro and then and then the wife will release his nutsack and then he can go downstairs and do a little putt putt bro what is this chair you got going on that looks the like the most uncomfortable thing i have ever seen i bet luke spending that night and that tauntaun was more comfortable than that little circle chair thing dude dude that thing is like lumber support zero out of ten dude ign wouldn't even review that like this whole thing, this whole room screams vagina. That's it. That's it. A vagina with a Pinterest account. That's all that it is, dude. That's all that this place is. The canvases, the shit furniture, the bland colors, just all of it. Guys, as you can see from the evidence clearly laid out before you that this room is trash and it's not a man cave, bro. It is a female's vision of what a man cave should be. Now, a normal man cave doesn't need a match. It doesn't need all bland furnitures and whatnot. It's whatever makes you comfortable, bro. Dude, you want guns? You want porn? You want your anime action figures? Put it up. Put it up there, bro. I support you. Dude, I support you in your efforts. Thank you for joining me on this adventure we shared together. Now remember, now remember gentlemen, when you finally get your, your space and you create your man cave to get away from uh, the cruel 
thought process of women. Do it how you want. Don't let them influence you. Don't let them tell you that it doesn't go. Don't let them do that to you. Peace the fuck out.